All right. Um, this is the um, second match that I'm going to talk about. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, um, I'm trying something different. I'm going to try to cover every match on a single video basis. And then on Saturday or maybe even Friday night after SmackDown, I will give my uh, official SummerSlam predictions video. Um, in the last video, we discussed uh, the triple threat match for the WWE Championship. Um, in this match, we are going to discuss um, The Miz and Rey Mysterio. Um, this match has all the possibilities of being an epic. The Miz one of the greatest entering performers of this day. Rey Mysterio, nothing really needs to be said. Rey Mysterio can come out there and steal the show on any night. The problem I have with this match they didn't fucking build it up. This match is for the Intercontinental Championship, which the WWE is trying to claim that there is prestige back on. There's prestige back on the Intercontinental Championship. Went from Cody Rhodes, great IC champion, to Christian, also a great IC champion in his own right. Went from Christian to The Miz. That's how The Miz kind of found himself back in the spotlight. And now Rey Mysterio comes back. And they're like, okay, we're just going to give you an IC title match. I have no problem at all. I, I'm not a Rey Mysterio hater. I actually like Rey Mysterio. I have no problem at all. Rey Mysterio versus Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. But build it up. Don't just have Rey Mysterio come back and, okay, well, you two are going to face off at SummerSlam for the title. And then no build up, no promos, no nothing. This is the Intercontinental Championship. This is the Intercontinental Championship, and you just, you didn't build it up. I don't, I don't get how you can sit there and get upset because prestige is being taken away from your championships when you're the one doing it. You're the one making Intercontinental Championship matches at SummerSlam, one of the biggest pay-per-views of the year, with zero build-up. Miz was there on Raw. And I understand why they worked him into the to the Piper's Pit because that led to the triple threat match, which in my opinion is the match that stole the show. That was a great match. The Miz has the ability to steal the show, as does Rey Mysterio. This match has all the ingredients of an epic. but you didn't build it up. So it's like nobody gives a shit. You didn't build it up. The match at WrestleMania between The Rock and John Cena, the reason why that match got so much hype, the reason why that match got so much, so much attention and so much anticipation, even over the Hell in a Cell, between Triple H and The Undertaker, which in my opinion was an insult, but we're not going to get into that. But the reason why that match got so much anticipation and so much hype is because they built it up for a fucking year. Yes, it had to do with The Rock coming back for one final match, and that had a lot to do with it. But I promise you, if they didn't build it up, if they just came out like the week before WrestleMania 28, hey, John Cena, this is who you're facing next week. If you smell, it would have been hyped, but it would have been basically the same situation as Rey Mysterio and uh, The Miz. Like I said, both of these guys have the ability to steal the show on any given night. We've seen it. We've seen The Miz do it. We've seen Rey Mysterio do it. Put them together, that, that has all the makings of a classic battle. But nobody gives a shit. 
Nobody gives a fuck because you didn't build it up. All you had to do was build it up. As soon as Miz won the IC title and then as soon as Rey Mysterio came back, have Rey Mysterio go out there. Hey, Miz, I'm going after that title. I'm going to take that title from you. Have them feud over the next couple of weeks going into SummerSlam. Have Rey Mysterio interfere in some of the Miz's matches. Have the Miz interfere in some of Rey Mysterio's matches. Have them get into some fights. Have them cut some promos in the ring. But no, you didn't do that. You did the same... This is the insulting thing. You did the same thing to the Miz and Mysterio that you did to Santino and Antonio Cesaro. Which that that part doesn't really surprise me because I mean it's Santino. He's a joke of a United States champion. He is disgracing that belt every time he comes out. And I understand you gotta cater to the kids, the family show and all of this. But either build him up the right way or take that fucking belt off of him. He's a disgrace. He's a joke. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I want to happen. I'll tell you right now what I want to happen. Miz and Rey Mysterio, I don't care who wins that match. I like both of them. They're both great athletes. They're both great competitors. Very, very good wrestlers in their own right. But I'll tell you what I actually want to happen. I would want the Miz... I can't really, you can't really use Mysterio in this instance because Mysterio is a face. He always has been, and most likely he always will be. We all, every once in a while, one of those superstars comes along that there's just no way that they could be a heel. And I think that Rey Mysterio is one of those guys. Uh, so have the Miz win with the IC title, and then maybe have the Miz interfere in. Santino's match for the IC title or for the United States Championship and say okay Santino I'm going to expose you for the fraud that you are you're nothing you're a joke of a champion and you disgrace that US title every time you put it on and we are going to have an integrated match Intercontinental Champion The Miz versus the United States Champion Santino Morella. The winner gets both belts. You unify the titles into one Intercontinental Championship. Will that happen? Probably not, but this is a good thing to think about. But like I said, that's, that's the problem that I have with this match. Both of these guys have the ability to steal the show on any day. But they didn't build it up. And that's that's the problem that I have with it. Uh, Rey Mysterio just came back, so I could honestly see them uh, giving the belt to Rey Mysterio. Um, I wouldn't have a problem either way. This is one of those matches I like both the guys. I wouldn't complain either way the outcome of the match. Uh, but my prediction is probably going to be Rey Mysterio taking the belt away from uh, The Miz. Uh, and then that'll give The Miz an opportunity to, to earn some heel heat. Because um, he's been kind of lacking that since he came back. I mean, people have been hating on him, but not as much as they were uh, before he left. So... Um, but that's that's that Grand Mysterio and Miz has all the ingredients of an epic battle but nobody gives a shit because you didn't build it up you just do it on the card at the last minute and nobody gives a fuck so learn from your mistake WWE um, hopefully they'll still come out and have a good match but like I said it's going to be very very hard for them to steal the show because Nobody gives a fuck about it because you didn't build it up. But um, 
We'll watch and see what happens, but my prediction, Rey Mysterio, new Intercontinental Champion at SummerSlam. Let me know what you think. Comment, like, subscribe. Peace.